Think of your breath as a launch pad for rocket ships. Through speaking, sneezing, coughing and breathing, we launch thousands of tiny rockets into the air around us. The rockets, or particles, fly out at high speeds. Just take a look at this guy sneezing in slow motion. The big rockets are called respiratory droplets. They lose momentum and crash to the ground near you. The small rockets are called aerosols. They are like the small part of a rocket ship that breaks off in space. Aerosols hang in the air. They can do so from a couple of minutes to hours. It all depends on how ventilated a room is. When aerosols fall down, they land on surfaces like door handles, chairs, or even your face. All sorts of things live in these little ships, even SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. So when we ingest these particles through our mouths and noses, COVID spreads. Masks lower the number of particles we are exposed to. They also reduce the number of virus-carrying rockets which sick people can launch into the air we all breathe. So why not just wear masks around other sick people? The amount of virus in a person's body is usually highest right before they actually show symptoms. But some people show no symptoms at all. This makes it difficult to figure out who has been infected and who hasn't. So it makes sense to assume that we're all potential carriers of SARS-CoV-2. Some virus particles will eventually get through masks, but they will make sure that you breathe in fewer virus particles. And that is exactly what we need them to do. Because we know that you're less likely to develop severe COVID when you ingest fewer viral particles. So as millions of people around the world are getting vaccinated against COVID, we know that face coverings will be a part of our lives for the foreseeable future.